Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're on Psalm 49. Hear this, all ye people. Give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be understanding. I'll incline my ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the harp. Just a couple of words of encouragement this morning. There is nothing like uh, the book of Psalms, the book of Proverbs, and the book of Acts. A very wise man once said we need to read Proverbs for wisdom, Psalms for love, and we need to read the book of Acts for our passion and zeal. Now, I believe a little bit of each of those books won't hurt us every day. Uh, Solomon was given the gift of wisdom, but I believe if you read through the Psalms, you'll see that uh, David was a wise man, and maybe that's where uh, Solomon got the idea he needed to have wisdom. Proverbs tells us wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding, seeming to echo the same sentiments that we read here in Psalm chapter 49. I want to encourage you to take the time to get a little journal and do a study through the book of Proverbs. There's one chapter for every day. I'm sure you've heard that, 31 chapters. But take the time to write down four areas. Your faith, your finances, your friends, and your family. Why? Because if we write down principles from the book of Proverbs, when it comes time to make decisions, we won't be making an emotional decision we won't be making a logical decision, we'll be making a biblical decision. And so, uh, take that 31-day challenge on. Uh, anytime something speaks to you from the book of Proverbs, when it speaks to you about your faith, your family, your finances, your friends, write that down. You don't have to write a dissertation for a doctorate. Write a personal devotion that you can go back to and when you have decisions to make, uh, my pastor in college said the worst time to make decisions is when your decision maker is broken. Uh, he was saying when you're emotionally uh, up in the air, it is not a good time to make a decision. When you're looking at things logically through man's eyes, it is not a good time to make a decision. A good time to make a decision is make the decision before the decision needs to be made have Bible principles. And I believe David taught Solomon that. I believe the Holy Spirit is expressing that here through Psalm chapter 49. He said this is for everybody, the rich, the poor. Uh, just because somebody's rich doesn't necessarily mean they're getting away with something. It means that somewhere down the line, somebody obeyed biblical principles and were, were blessed because of it. I heard a pastor once say, you have exactly what God can trust you with. If he can trust you with much, he knows you're going to be faithful in much. If you don't have a whole lot, then be thankful for that because that's the level of faith. But you can grow that. And it's not about being rich or having a lot of possessions. It's about being rich spiritually speaking. We preached on that last night at church. We want to focus on that which is eternal and not that which is temporal. Only that which is eternal will last. Unfortunately, that which is temporal is just what we can see, what we can handle, what we hear, uh, the spiritual realm. You're going to have to develop a, a relationship with God to recognize the spiritual realm. But I enjoy this psalm so much because he it said it's the meditation of my heart. And he said, I will incline my ear to the parable. Uh, you know, Jesus taught by parables. And he said, without a parable, I won't speak because it's revealed for uh, people that believe the truth of the word of God. Christian, let's make sure that our life is wrapped up in the word of God. And we can do that when we understand the wisdom of God, the works of God, the worship of God. And real quickly, worship is not just corporate worship in a church service or music that you're listening to. No, it's a state of mind before you pray, giving God the glory and the honor that he rightfully deserves. 
Today, take some time to write those proverbs down, get some principles to make your decisions so when your decision maker's broken, you can make the right decision. God bless you and have a good day.